Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. If this ends up loading, there we go. We're back with another episode here. Today is Five Stripe Friday. I'm not wearing the usual garb that I usually wear for Five Stripe Friday, but um, as you guys know, we do stream some Atlanta United focused stuff on Five Stripe Friday. Today, I wanted to upload a different type of video. Um, I could probably just upload the raw gameplay of this, but I decided to just go ahead and edit it down just because that's the nature of the channel now. We're just doing stuff like that. If you guys would rather see full gameplay on Five Stripe Friday and stuff like that, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, are you a frequent Five Stripe Friday viewer? Uh, like, what kind of content are you really enjoying over here? Um, I haven't really been seeing the support for Five Stripe Friday on YouTube, uh, so we may stop uploading it just so we can get through some of the other career modes faster. If that's something you guys are interested in, I can at least make sure that Atlanta United content gets posted on Five Stripe Friday. But, you know, weird thing is, last Five Stripe Friday, Atlanta United didn't tweet Five Stripe Friday. Does that mean that the jersey is not going to be Five Stripes this year? These are things to think of. These are things to think of. Um, but anyways, we are back with the career mode. Uh, this, I believe, is in uh, 150 just trying to load up the game. But you guys can see here what's going on. We're doing a pity Martinez testimonial game. This is how I would love to see it happen. If we do really sign a deal that allows us to play a friendly against River Plate, this is how I would like to see it go. Um, I would like to see us play a friendly against River Plate before we sign him. That way he can be signed and then basically what we're going to do, right, is we're going to play them. Pity's going to play for River Plate. And then like two weeks later, we play another friendly against River Plate in Atlanta with Pity on our team. And then we see who wins, you know, the testimonial for Pity Martinez. Or one game, if it's a one game testimonial like they do in normal uh, games, I'd be okay with that too. But obviously you can't do a one game testimonial because we can't switch his team mid game. So first leg is in Atlanta. Pity Martinez is part of River Plate. Second leg, which obviously they're not going to be legs. We'll have to keep up with the score as we're as we're recording here. Um, but second leg is going to be um, in River Plate in Argentina with Pity Martinez on Atlanta, um, just to kind of mix it up. You know, I, th I thought it, you know, it was a pretty good idea. We just wanted to play a game against River Plate because you know why not? We like challenging games on Five Stripe Friday. Uh, this was after we had been playing online seasons for a little bit. That's what we usually do on Twitch on Fridays. Is we play. Um, online seasons, we listen to new music, you know, we just have fun, have a good time, you know, unwind because it's Friday and it's uh, Five Stripe Friday. So um, today, as I'm recording this, it is Tuesday. Um, I've been recording videos all day, but the announcement of our new DP player was announced today by Darren Niels, um, a player from Watford. Actually looks like a very good young, young talent. He was actually very, very good coming through the Watford system, very young. And it's actually a player that I'm excited about, but Darren did troll everybody. So everyone's a little bit mad about it. And he's always going to have this stigma on him that we just signed him because his name was DP. Imagine if that's true. That would be insane. Uh, but here you guys see very early on, we actually end up conceding a goal to River Plate. This is going to be a rough game. This first game, uh, we don't do well, I'm going to warn you now. Uh, Bore, I believe is how you say his name. I might be wrong. Uh, he ends up getting a goal early on us. And uh, we keep trying to push forward. The thing about this, for whatever reason, and it might just be FIFA, might just be kickoff glitch, might be whatever it is. Um, but every time River Plate score... I feel like I could immediately score. Like my team just pushed forward. Atlanta just pushed forward, did everything in their power, and uh, would just score on um, on River Plate. So as you guys are going to see here, we end up pushing forward. Barco with the ball, holding up really, really well. I'm starting to learn a little bit more how to play with Barco, and I'm enjoying him a little bit more in FIFA. Uh, this first game, as you guys are going to see, is going to have uh, the usual team, last season's team, basically Breck Shea, I don't think is in the squad. I'm pretty sure this is literally last season's lineup. I'm playing a four in the back, I think. Uh, so Greg's in this team as well, fair warning. Uh, but it is Barco and Miggy in the same team with Joseph. Next game, we're taking Miggy out. Although I would personally would like to take Barco out and put in pity and play Miggy on the left. But we're going to go with the quote-unquote more realistic option, the one that everybody's thinking is going to happen with Miggy out of the team. So second leg, there's no Miggy, only pity. 
Um, but this first leg, normal team, as you guys would expect, plus Greg Garza, who I probably should have taken out, but I didn't. Actually, no, false. I did take Greg out. Julian's playing left back, which was an awful decision. Um, hindsight's 2020 that I should not have played Julian at left back. He actually cost me like two goals in this game. Um, but it was a good game nonetheless. It was really enjoyable. Um, but uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk, you know, we, I keep making these videos about pity. Atlanta United Fan TV keep making videos about pity. Uh, Jason Riddle has made videos about pity um, and him coming. And obviously, pity has talked about coming. Uh, LGP has talked about pity coming. Pity scores here in this game, by the way, as I keep saying his name. Um, just gets it off of me, shoots it near post. Brad can't do anything about it. So we end up conceding to pity in this game. But what if... We just decide not to sign Pity after all of this. Imagine. Now, with the um, addition of this guy and calling him DP, I'm thinking it's most likely going to happen that we're signing Pity. I would still really like my idea, which is put Barco in USL and only use him for Champions League and for US Open Cup while he's like nursing his injury. Um, and then we sell Miggy in the summer when teams are willing to spend money and will actually pay Miggy what he deserves. Um, let's do that so that we can have in Champions League Pity, Joseph, Miggy, and Tito all up top together because that would be insane, dude. It would be absolutely nuts. And Barco, you know, he's been nursing an injury for the past year. He hasn't been getting much game play time. We'll see how he fits with this new team. But it would be a really good rehab for him. He would get a lot of practice, a lot of game play against not that great of quality. He would still train with the first team and the second team. And then he would just come in and annihilate. Imagine. I don't know realistically if that would ever happen. Would we really want to pay Barco's salary and put him in USL? Probably not. But let's just sit. Let's just, you know, think about it. It's not that crazy. It would actually be super funny. But anyways, um, as you guys saw there, 3-1 was the end of that score line. It was a little bit frustrating how we conceded that last goal. But it is what it is. We move forward. We keep chugging forward. So now... We are loading up the next game. Like I said, Pity is now in the squad. Um, I was trying to decide what kind of lineup I wanted to do. Decided to switch it to offline because obviously we need Pity in the squad. Uh, squad's already updated, so Breck Shea is in the team as well. Um, but we're going to play a 3-5-2. Breck Shea is going to come out. Pity's going to go to center attacking mid. Tito's going to go up top. Left is going to be... Actually, Breck Shea might start. I can't remember if I take him out or not. No, we put Barco in at left mid. Julian at right mid. Um, center backs are the same, I believe. I know my face cam's blocking the center backs, but the usual ones, Franco, Parkhurst, and uh, LGP and defense. Uh, we're going to bring in Barco. We're putting Miggy on the bench. I can't remember if I put him on the bench or the, the actual just reserves, um, but we do want to leave in the majority of our players. I think I made it so that I could bring in, yeah, Miggy, but I decided not to. Um, and we're just going to hop back in. So now we're playing in... River play. We're playing in Argentina, which I love this stadium, by the way. The the layout, the fans, the colors, everything just ties so well together in this stadium. And it was just so much fun to play in. Um, and it's just this game goes nuts. As you guys can probably already see, there is still a decent amount of time left in this video. And there are all goals all the time. So uh, as you guys see here, six minutes in, we're already getting pushed by River Plate. Bad tackle attempt for me. Trying to slide tackle when I probably shouldn't have. Ball gets crossed in the box. Goal. Easy. Fernandez gets a goal. We're down 1-0. I'm freaking out, right? So we push forward, like I said in the last game. Anytime River Plate scores, especially in this one, I end up just running them. Tito gets a nasty little chip over the keeper. Um, killing it just absolutely nasty so now we get 1-1 back with um, River Plate trying to keep it so if you guys remember we're 3-1 down so now we are 4-2 down um, so we still need two goals to at least tie in the testimonial match um, here River Plate get a corner in the 16th minute it's only been 16 minutes well 17 minutes and then bam River Plate score again remember Pity is on our team and we're still getting smacked. Granted, it's River Plate. The team's disgusting. It is how it is. Um, so they end up grabbing themselves a goal. So now we're looking. We're like, oh, God, here we go. What are we going to do now? So now we're going to kick the ball off, and it's going to happen again. We're going to push forward. Joseph on the ball. Joseph passes Nagby. Nagby goes to Tito. Tito holds the ball up. 
He's thinking, maybe go to Gressel? No, we're going to pass back to Pity. Pity's going to pass down to Rometty. Rometty to Joseph. Joseph to Nagby. Nagby to Rometty? No, to Joseph. And Joseph scores. I think that was Pity, actually, to uh, Joseph. So Pity gets an assist this game, I believe. So another good, solid attempt there. And we keep pushing forward. 2-2, two, two, which means it is now 5-3. to three. Um, I can do math. It's actually crazy, right? So now it's 5-3, to three, and we're still pushing forward. Now it's the 32nd minute. It's only been 32 minutes, and we cross the ball in. Barco gets a nasty header. I've never seen Barco score a header like that for me ever in FIFA 19. But we grab ourselves a gold, and now it's 3-2. So now it's 3-2, and we're pushing forward. Pity on the ball. Pity passes out to Barco. Barco on the ball. Barco crosses it in beautifully might i add and julian gressel grabs a goal now it is 4-2 which means it is 6-6 six, six on aggregate no 5-5 five, five on aggregate sorry 5-5 five, five on aggregate and we're killing it now we push forward pity grabs the ball pity shoots it into the keeper twice and i think that's tito yeah tito who runs up and grabs himself a goal so now it is 5-2 and we're actually winning currently so now it is six to five on aggregate this game's absolutely nuts it's going all over the place i'm having a blast at this point stressed out to all no end and now mora just comes in and annihilates me and just shits all over brad guzan all over him so now we're like okay here we go so now we're tied back at six six River Plate have now scored three goals in both games. My defense is in shambles. And here, what is that corner and how does it work? I think that's Bore who ends up scoring. Um, no, it's not. It's, uh, what's his name? It's going to come up on the screen, so we'll, pa we'll pause. But now we're losing 7-6 to six on aggregate. There have been 13 goals. Yeah, 13 goals. I can do math. I'm telling you. 13 goals in this game. And so we try to push forward. It's the 89th minute. Nagby's on the ball. He ends up losing the ball. It goes to Pity. Pity's like, do I really want to score against my team? Nah, let me pass it to Rometty. Rometty doesn't have the pace, though, and we lose the ball. Rometty wins the ball back. Ball to Pity. Pity tries to get it to Barco. Barco can't do anything about it. I probably should have made a sub at this point. We might have had a chance to grab another goal. Um, but River Plate get on the ball. They do wonderful passing. Passing it, ping, uh, ping pong in. There's another word I'm looking for, but that's cool. that's what we're gonna go with. They're pinging the ball around like crazy, wasting time getting the ball forward. They get another opportunity. I genuinely thought it was gonna be five five, and I was gonna freak out. But we end up winning this leg five to four in Argentina with Pity Martinez on our on our team. So it was absolutely crazy. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace.